So let's keep going with the same wood pellet plant example from before and let's make it again a little bit more complex. Um, so building up to a more realistic problem here. Um, so let's say we also had an overhead per plant. Let's say it costs $2.27 million per year per plant in overhead costs. Uh, and let's also say that to produce each metric ton of pellets costs $178 and to distribute them costs $33. Okay, so that now changes our profit per ton from $250 down to $39. Okay, carrying on here. Here is our profit table for that one year then. Looks very different. Uh, so let's have a look at how I got this profit table in Excel. Okay, so again, here we are with a kind of blank Excel template for this one. So let's put our, um, again, our cost to build a new plant at 53 million. Now our overhead is 2.27 uh, million per plant. So there's our new overhead. Production is at $178 per metric ton, distribution at 33. Uh, so our revenue is 250 again, and our profit is now the $250 minus the 178 minus the $33. That is now our actual profit per metric ton. Okay, let's talk about our capacity again. So again, for the current plant, it was 280,000. If we added or built a new plant, it'd be 200,000 extra. So that's just the total of the two of them, which is the 480,000. Uh, and now let's talk about our demand um, with these values. So again, um, I'm gonna take a min call between my demand here and my, um, capacity. So if I am building a new plant, yes, then I grab the 480,000, lock that reference. You could lock the reference for column D if you want. Don't lock both because I want to be able to move down to rows 5, 6, 7, and 8 here. Um, but definitely lock the reference to the 480. So take them in between those two. Uh, what you're going to sell is the minimum between how much you can produce and how much is demanded. Um, and then times that by the profit per metric ton. So this will be the number of metric tons sold. This is our profit per ton. The total of those two will give us our, um, our um, profit. Uh, let's see here, this would be our gross profit uh, and not yet uh, our overall profit because we also need to look at our um, overhead costs, okay? And then at our cost to build that new plant if we add it into this calculation. Now overhead costs. If you build that new plant, don't forget to times that by two. You now have two plants running. Let's assume they have the same overhead costs. And let's also deduct off that 53 million in initial costs here to build this new plant. Um, don't forget to lock the references here to the these two costs because we want to keep those fixed when we copy this formula down. Okay. Good. And forgive me, I forgot to fix something here. Let's have a quick look. What is it? So sorry, one thing I forgot to lock. Speaking of locking, I'm going to lock the reference to B11 as well. There we go, that $39. Good, now we're ready to go. Perfect. And then copy that down. Good. Okay, so we're showing a loss throughout the whole first year if we're counting that 53 million. Now, what if we don't build that plant? Let's have a look here. So it's still going to be that $39 um, times by our actual amount sold, which is a minimum between, between our demand here and our um, capacity. So min call there, same as before, times the $39, lock that reference, and then just minus from that our overhead costs and you don't need to times it by two because in this case, if we don't build a new plant. We only have that one plant and that overhead cost for that one plant. Okay, and now we're ready to copy this formula down. Okay, and we can see that if we're just counting our payoffs or our profits for the one year and we're counting in that 53 million to build a new plant, it does not seem worth our while to build that new plant.